What is the difference between TX and RX? Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into the world of telecommunications, specifically focusing on the difference between TX and RX. If you've ever come across these terms and wondered what they mean, you're in the right place. What is TX? TX is an abbreviation that stands for transmit. In the realm of telecommunications, it refers to the process where data is sent from one location to another through a communication channel. The sending or source device in this process is often referred to as the transmitter. What is RX? On the other side of the communication spectrum, we have RX. This abbreviation stands for receive. When we talk about RX, we're referring to the process where data is received or accepted from a communication channel by a destination device, commonly referred to as the receiver. How do TX and RX work together? TX and RX are two sides of the same coin. They work together to facilitate data communication. Whether it's a text message, a video call, or just browsing the internet, both processes are continually happening in the background. In a typical communication system, data is transmitted, TX, from the source device, travels through the communication channel, like an Ethernet cable, Wi-Fi, or cellular network, and then is received, RX, by the destination device. It's important to note that these processes can happen simultaneously in systems that support bidirectional communication, like your smartphone or computer. Why is understanding TX and RX important? Understanding the difference between TX and RX helps demystify how data communication happens. If you're working with network devices or troubleshooting network issues, knowing which direction the data is supposed to be flowing, TX or RX can help identify and resolve problems. And there you have it, a comprehensive explanation of the difference between TX and RX. Remember, TX refers to data transmission from the source device, and RX refers to data reception at the destination device. I hope this video has helped clear up these terms for you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to explore more about telecommunications, it's truly fascinating.